Oh, you know, just trying to open up today's video. Go figure. My normal name. What? He actually put my normal name. Oh, Michael put your his normal name. Anyway, what's up going on, guys? Back today, Thursday here, Friday for you guys. Jesse's here. Ryan's actually coming back, and I think uh, Mr. Johnny Sendit himself will be coming by today in this episode. Um, so, a lot of things going on. First, I just want to say the comments and the DMs and Facebook messages are getting uh, really hard to keep up on. I had a hard time keeping up on them before... Um, but I do read all of them. I just want to let you guys know I do read them all. I do appreciate. Uh, I got a really nice email from somebody, uh, you know, just supporting the channel and, and what we're doing. So I do appreciate all the, you know, comments. Thursday, which means mail time. I don't, I don't know what it is. Greg knows what it is. I don't know. What no, it is. I don't know what it is yet. I think I know what it might be. Uh, Here, you want to open it? Yeah. Does it say not? Don't open with a knife, Greg. No. <laughs> Yeah, even if it does, who cares? Just do it. We could just rip it open. Well, it's small. Yes. Oh, would you look at that? Focus. Oh, that's nice. We got ourselves a little turb ski. All right, so I'm going to put you on the spot here. Would you put this on your keychain? Yes or no? Because we're gonna have to we're gonna have to fight over it because it says Jesse and Greg. That's bigger than the turbo on my truck right now. <laughs> <laughs> do you want it or do you want a rock, paper, scissor for it? We could rock, paper, scissor for it. Because this is going on my keychain if you if, if I, if I win. We could rock, paper for it. All right, we're going to have to rock, paper for it. All right, here we go. Rock, paper, scissor, shoot. Rock, paper, scissor, shoot. Yeah. Rock, paper, scissor, shoot. Rock, paper, scissor, shoot. This is going right on the first gen keychain. Thank you. Up to, oh, you opened it. Was there a note? No. Man. If you guys are going to send us stuff, make sure you got a name. Or if you want to be anonymous. Anyway, thank you very much, whoever sent this. Uh, Thursday, if you guys want to send us stuff, we'll turn Thursday into like mail day. So. All right, so the moment you've all been waiting for. Opening of the no boost kit. We'll lay it all out on the floor for you guys to see. Look at those shoes. If I knew where right. the razor blades were, right? all right, Jesse, tell tell the people what it is. They're right here. Ah, oh, it's all dirty too. Do not open with razor. Oops. Does that one? <laughs> no, it doesn't fit. That's going to say. So what we have here, um, obviously you can tell by the boxes, is... Maybe they couldn't tell by the box. Well, can you see it? Please. So we decided to go with the fleece second gen swap for my truck. Um, Do you not want me to open this? This is going to be like Christmas for you? Do you want to open it? Um, so we've kind of told you about uh, the source second gen uh, kit that you can get. Uh, we wanted to try out this fleece kit. I've never installed one of these things. I know they're pretty complete. Um, so we're gonna go over this. We're gonna compare it to other second gen kits out there. Uh, once we open up everything, nice. you know, we're gonna be installing it, but you've heard us talk about source automotive second gen ah. kit. This is, this is fleece's S400 second gen swap for third gen. So we're gonna lay it all out. Jesse did already get a steed speed. Yeah. Again, all of our parts are from Garofalo Enterprises in Pennsylvania. Go check him out. The information is always in the description of every video. Oh, would you look at that. All right, guys, so we're not gonna go into like crazy in-depth review right now. I wanna actually install it before we, you know, give my final thoughts on it, but uh, went with a fleece, obviously, 471.87 with a .9 housing T4. Oh, the, ste the steed speed, you wanna open that up? Oh, I almost yeah, just fell. 
Uh, their downpipe, which looks really good. It looks like it's really got a really nice flange on it, nice welds. Uh, does not come with a four to five inch adapter that uh, we're gonna need. The cast S400 outlet boots. Uh, the hot pipe comes with their drain, the nice stainless braided drain, uh, all the gaskets, everything like that. Their plastic intake elbow. Now, I made a call just to make sure uh, Source uses a six inch intake pipe. This uses a slightly smaller, which I don't think is a performance really gain or loss there, but as you can see, there's no sensor port for your factory sensor, which Source's pipe does have one. So just a key note there. Boot. You know, you're making an awful lot of noise over there. Well, you forgot to open it. I did, my fault. Nice filter jobby. Got the oil feed, uh, which this is actually wrapped in just high temp stuff. It is actually a stainless braided hose. All of the adapters, clamps, downpipe clamp, and that's pretty much it. So this is going to be going on hopefully soon. Uh, really busy schedule with tons of stuff going on. You're going to love what's inside that. Whole bunch of packing peanuts, I think. Or maybe they changed. Hey, no packing peanuts. They used to. Thank goodness. Steed speed. Probably more gaskets that came in your kit. Now we have what? Three, three yeah, sets? I think we have three sets of exhaust <laughs> manifold gaskets. Maybe we'll have to do exhaust manifold gaskets in the next giveaway. And we're not going to unwrap that, but you guys know what a uh, T4 Steed Speed looks like. Just got the regular outlet on it, nothing crazy. Puts it right in the nice position for the downpipe and everything, so that is our no boost delete kit. All right, so what we're going to do before Ryan gets here, we're going to try and actually get some work done on Jesse's truck. We're going to get the uh, gauges. Uh, the first step that I usually do is try and run from the sensor into the cab. So we got rail pressure, 100 pound boost gauge, fuel pressure, trans temp, trans temp, and a pyro. So we're gonna open up all these uh, and start running them from the sensor location into the cab. Probably gonna label them all because when you go through the cab, they all end up having these same wire colors. So make sure you label them. So the other pro tip that I can give you before you start wiring your gauges, uh, we always use this quarter inch uh, wire loom and before you even start putting the sensors in the spot, basically pre-loom this uh, you know, a decent amount. That way uh, when you run it in the cab, it's already pre-loomed in the engine bay. So I'll literally spread this out and then start to do this. I can kind of guesstimate exactly how much I'll need, but if you do this ahead of time, it makes it a heck of a lot easier than trying to do it when everything's already plugged in in the truck. All right guys, so first step when you're gonna start with these gauges is finding out where you're gonna run the wires through the firewall. On these third gens and seeing that Jesse's is automatic, right here is where if your truck was a manual, that's right where the uh, hydraulics would be coming through. So inside there, we undid the two 15 millimeter nuts, just like that. I took a uh, paint marker and you can kind of see exactly where, how, how big that hole can be. So what we're gonna do is drill that out and put a grommet in there and then run the wires through there. And there we go. There's the finished product. Should be able to stuff uh, two uh, wire looms in there. There we go, now it's focused. But that's it. 
should be able to get all the wire loom through there and still be uh, pretty uh, soundproof. Uh, you could get one that has a uh, film there and cut it out, but you know this is small enough. By the time I stuff all the wire loom through that, it's going to be pretty sealed up. The next tip that I can give you is basically pre-planning your wire routing. So we know that the boost, uh, Jesse's going to get a new boost elbow, but even if we were to drill and tap this one, the boost sensor is going to be back here. Your factory rail pressure sensor, which that gauge ties into, is right here. So that's one, two, and also Jesse's fleece. Uh, fuel filter delete has a port for the sensor so all of these sensors are going to run right in this line and kind of loop back around over here also your egt probe which is pretty much going to run right here is going to probably tie into that down here so that's going to be another short section of loom but for the most part most of these sensors can be run with one line minus the trans temp. All right, guys, I just figured I'd show you this now before we go ahead and put it in the truck. So like I said, rail pressure and boost very close together. Uh, fuel pressure a little bit ways away, so I got that down just a little bit. These are always estimated lengths, but it's real easy just to pull this out of the loom rather than put it back in. And then the EGT, I know, is going to tie in a little bit away from that, more towards the firewall. So I got everything loomed up and everything labeled that way that can just go through the firewall one easy nice wire with all the sensors right on it so let's go through this in the truck now all right guys fast forward just a little bit here just wanted to show you before we pop back up transmission temperature sensor in the pan some people do like to put it in the line a little bit more of an accurate reading but the pan is definitely not a bad and it definitely is the more popular choice to put things so got the line here tied right up here and then it's kind of hard to see but I tie it right back into the factory uh, harness running up along the transmission up by your factory engine connectors and then we'll make the crossover to come up by the firewall but just wanted to show you that guys down here Miss Johnny send it and a dog the puppy everybody's been asking where Johnny send it's been what's that tell you slim it means you're a goofball is what it means the puppy what's up, up buddy it's Daisy send it Yo. welcome to the channel Daisy send it hi baby hi all right guys, so this is pretty much where we're ending for now. Rail pressure is hooked up and you can see that the boost gauge is gonna go just like that. Uh, the EGT gauge is pretty much already ready to be run across here uh, when we get the new steed speed in. So that's all tied in. And the fuel pressure sensor is right down here as well. If I could get it with my hands, that would be great. You can see right down here. And that's going to go right where the factory fuel filter is now. So all of this tied into one loop, run all the way back around there, just like that, with that grommet right in there. Basically, you can barely tell once all this is going to get plugged in. And the trans wire came up here. Kind of comes across here. I know you can't really see jack crap, but... That's good. If you can't see it, you don't even know it's there. So basically, that's all you can really see. We're going to put those bolts back in, get that all secured. But basically, everything is run in the cab now, and pretty much that's half your install. But that is going to be part one of the gauges. As you could tell, we got Mr. Johnny Scrap Truck over here getting loaded. It's supposed to pour uh really bad the next couple days so we're going to get his truck loaded up now so we're going to do a little driveway shuffle get his truck loaded up for sunday sunday i should say it's funny that it's funny that we're doing wiring when johnny johnny send it shows up ah oh yeah Bye, Johnny. See you later. Love you. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. All right. Well, now what? Well, now what?
getting late, it's getting windy, it's getting dark already. It looks like it's gonna rain. Son of a... Get it! All right guys, so pretty much where we left off with Ryan last was pretty much waiting on this bearing, which we got, which we just put in. Ryan actually cannot make it tonight. Snap on duty calls. So we are just gonna actually snug this up and call it good. We're actually really running out of daylight. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but we're probably just gonna snug this up and cover it up. Had my trusty bungees holding the drum so it didn't fall overnight. I think it's getting, getting dark quick. It's getting dark very quick. Shove the old rag back in there. Jesse's gonna wrap it and bag it. Voila! Alright, what do we need here, Jeff? What do we need here, Jeff? Got a couple wire bolts. Now, I know you might not be able to tell on camera, and you gotta use your imagination a little bit, but no grill inserts on the right, grill inserts on the left. I'd probably take them out, get them all resprayed black if they were to stay in, but if we cut all the tabs off and had a big intercooler sitting in the front of this thing with no condenser in the way, just a big intercooler, I don't know, what do you guys think? Inserts, no inserts? Oh, by the way, have you liked the video yet? If you haven't, you should like the video. Oh, I hear something rolling by. I hear something rolling by. Probably Andrew. Oh, and it's Andrew. Hey, I don't know who that is either. All right, so like I said, takes a little bit of imagination, but just an option. All right, yeah. well, slight update. We were clearing some old bees nests, and I don't know if I did that or not, but I guess old pap scrap here needs a new radiator or to get fixed, radiator, whatever you want. It's a radiator spring, please. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that thing's leaking. Look, I'll pull, I'll pull the cap off. Oh, look at that. Holy crap. All right, so we're gonna drain the coolant. Uh, we were planning on taking the front end apart, obviously, because we're gonna need to get to the front end to do the killer dowel pin, but what a lovely location to put a drain in. So it spills all over everything. What a dumb design. I'm probably doing something wrong. It's probably an easier way, but my cockpit is like straight out. It's not even down. All right, guys, uh, Andrew, Jesse, and I just got back from uh, grabbing a quick bite to eat. It's pretty late at this point, so, but that's gonna wrap up this video. Back with another video tomorrow. Thank you, as always, for watching. Hit that like button before you leave. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>